Hey guys, so I'm currently making um, shampoo bars and I wanted to take you guys along on the process. So we are currently um, cutting up melt and pour soap. So we have goat's milk, cocoa butter, and shea butter is the last one I'm gonna cut up. So I wanna try to put you guys in a position where you can see everything. Um, this may be up against my computer. All right, so we're just gonna cut the last bar, which is our shea butter bar. And I've been placing it into this container. So all of our bars are from our Earth Secret. I got it off of Amazon. I'm just gonna open these up and cut this last one up. And then we'll go and we'll melt it. Okay, I've just been using half of each, and that should fill up about half of my mold. So you just want to cut this into smaller pieces so that they'll melt a little bit faster. Gonna put them into our container. Okay. All right. Now let's go to the microwave to melt it down. Okay. So we're just gonna melt this in thirty second intervals and give it a stir after thirty seconds. Is up. Got a few little chunks in there. Put it in for the last few seconds and then we'll take it out. Alright, perfect. Let's go. Okay, I'm back at the table. Now we're going to add our oils in. So, first, we're going to go in with two teaspoons of pumpkin seed oil. 
We're going to go in. This teaspoon is the African black castor oil. I think there only might be about two teaspoons left in here. Okay. Keep stirring. We're gonna go in with one teaspoon of peppermint oil. and one teaspoon of lavender oil. All right, just make sure that is all incorporated in there. And then we're gonna start pouring into our molds. So that looks perfect. And let's start pouring. Whoa. I overdid it. <laughs> All right, that gave us exactly five. This one we had a little spillage, but and just clean it up. All right, that's the reason I have it on this baking sheet to begin with. So we're just gonna tap it a little bit and then I wanted to add a little bit of color. So I'm gonna go in with some gold mica and this is for mostly because I don't have a, um, I do not have alcohol spray to spray on the top to get rid of the bubbles. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna just add a little bit of mica to color the top so you won't even notice. So I'm just gonna tap her like that and just put a quick covering of the mica on top. Let's see if I can do it faster this way. Just add a little more. Oh, that's perfect. That is that with the mica. Close this up. And lastly, because these are primarily pumpkin seed um, containers, I wanted to just add a sunflower seed in there. Or maybe I won't. I'm not going to add sunflower seed. Change my mind. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like up close. And we'll come back in a few hours, probably by tonight they'll be good to go. And we'll take them out. Okay everyone, so this is how our shampoo bars turned out. I think they look really good. They're so like soft and smooth, I love it. Um, I'm thinking about cutting the gold mica off. I did use one like in a sink just to wash my hands and it foams up really, really well. Um, but like I said, I'm thinking about cutting the mica off. I don't know. The mica isn't like transferring onto your hands. Like as soon as you wet it, it basically just comes off. Um, so it won't like get into your scalp. But yeah, this is what they look like. Super smooth. They set up really, really well. Um, so yeah, we're gonna keep going. Try you out. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. See you in the next one. Bye.